I'm Lawrence Traverso. I'm a songwriter and producer, and today we'll be working at the Strong Room in London, part of the Air Group. And in this, the first of the Frontline Producer series, we're going to be looking at how to put together a track based on a brief sent to me by a label or management. We've got just 48 hours to turn around a handful of sample CDs and a few ideas into a track that the label are going to want to run with, and eventually pay your bills. Yes. How are you doing? How are you doing? Mm -hmm. Nice to see you. Look after your singer. They're going to make or break this pitch. A good vocal could make all the difference. Keep your different types of tea and honey around. Lukewarm water is great for vocals, and a stock of vocal zones wouldn't kill you either. Drink a water, tea. What are you going? How's your throat? Uh, it's all right, actually, but I'll stick with the water just in case. Okie okay. dokie, we'll get George to sort something out in a minute. Thank you. Um, track wise, it's pretty much pop. Yeah. Kind of. But remember, people skills are important here. Better carrot, not stick. A great performance will sell something, and you can do a quick tidy up afterwards. A good producer, after all, is 30% technique and 70% social worker and friend. Scribble down the ideas I've got, and we'll get in and just sort this out. Cool. Nice. Looking forward to it. Right, cool. I'll get the track up. Yep. Yeah, that's, that's so, it's easier to always try and get someone in that you can get on with personally. Play this game. So what's the easiest way of setting up a mic for your singer? Firstly, place a pop shield an outstretched hand span away from the mic, Maybe a bit more. thumb to little finger, about 20 centimetres. Your singer can then get up close and personal without ruining your take. To avoid pop and sibilance, point the mic at the top of your singer's lip. This should eliminate a lot of obvious problems. That's nice. And finally, don't run too hot, but use common sense for level. Just make sure you've got enough to play with. Okay, cool. That's 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 more. That's it. That's what I want to hear. Yeah, just It's always nice to send your singer away happy. And don't forget, once you've got your mix, send them a copy. It's good manners. It won't hurt you and they'll want to work with you again. Right, that's good. So, that's the tricky bit done, and it really wasn't too painful at all. A little bit of tidying up there, and we'll have some really, really fat vocals. Good lead vocal, lots of backed up, lots and lots of harmonies. It's gonna sound sick. What we want now is back on, adding some extra fairy dust to the track, maybe doing a little bit of melody later on just to perfect Jesse's vocals there. Okay. So that was a good vocal session. Now we're going to look at what we can do, stack the vocals, and how to make the best of our uh, DSPs or our native power. Now, I'm starting off the track. I've come up with the idea that we're going to start off with a chorus, or well, not as such, but just the chorus harmonies before we go into our verse. Uh, I'll play it out to you, and then I'll explain what I'm doing to save on processing power and uh, just some very simple methods uh, to make your track work. Right. I need you to ease my mind Instead you're leaving me behind Now, uh, what I've done is I've thrown it through some compressors obviously, it's sounding very very smooth. We've EQ'd a little bit and then we've sent the whole thing out on the bus. Instead of having to put, and I could have done it with compressors but we've got enough DSB here. Um, for my reverbs, my delays, everything else, it's quite dry, but when I want that there, instead of putting one on all of it and taking all that power, I've just put it all out on the bus, send them all out on the bus, and I think I'm in 11 and 12, let's have a look. There's, I've got a Vox reverb here, um, on a bus, yeah, 11 and 12, so we've got a nice waves reverb, and not a great deal, but you can then choose the amount that you want just there. It means you have to group things a little bit more and it's not so individual, but it's gonna save you a whole lot of processing power. And it means you can run a 48 track thing on LE and get similar sort of um, processing as you can with an HD4. Right, it's been the best part of two, maybe three hours there with Chess, trying to sort this out. 
we've got the bridge section, we're doing exactly the same. We got our EQs right, we get the compression right, and then we send it on the bus. Once we're happy with the signal, we send it out to be finished off. The bus is our extra bit of polish, and audio suite, we're putting stuff on with the audio suite as well. It, mainly for outro. I'm gonna hold you down. I'm gonna hold you. How am I gonna hold you down? I need you to ease my mind. Instead, you're leaving me behind. I need you. I'm pretty happy with that sound as it stands. Uh, we've got two different sounds on the vocals. We we played around quite quite a bit. Uh, we got two different performances. The second verse is a lot more gutsy, and it was probably about take four that we managed to get a really nice uh, vocal, and so therefore I've got them on different tracks. I'm not going to comp them in. Um, we've got verse one lead here, which is... How does a girl play this game? It's quite soft. I'm thinking of you. Quite compressed. Every hour of the day, yet you keep pushing me away. I'm the fool for playing your waiting games. Your eyes. We took um, a low vocal in order to back up the thing to give it a little bit more colour as well in verse two. And uh, we triple it up here. So. Never the same. You, you changed. A little bit of effects, nothing, you know, just something to take us into the chorus. We had such a different um, vocal on verse three. We took a different track, it's a lot more. And we couldn't put the same processes on. Or, or we didn't want to put the same processes on. Eventually, we're sending all out the same bus as far as the reverb and delay and other bits go. Other things we've done, vocal suite. Uh, on an outro, I've got, uh, obviously, different vocals on the bridge here. Um, How am I got we're looking at uh, outro vocals. I mean, I did a lot more with audio suite here. Now do yeah, yeah, yeah. I, need, I need, you need you to ease my mind Instead you're leaving me behind I need, I need you, you to ease my mind Instead you're leaving, you're leaving me behind I need, I need you to ease my mind um, don't be afraid of putting lots of reverb or lots of delay on. It's going to get saturated up in the sound of the track. I like what we've done there. It's going to work well within uh, our track. Let me have a look and see if I can bring it in. Let's have a look. Suspend all groups. We'll start bringing in some other bits. Instead, you're leaving me behind. I need you to ease my... Not the all all singing, all dancing thing you're expecting, but I've got a fair amount muted. What we can do is bring the whole mix together. Now the next bit we'll, we'll be looking at is about where we're going to start with the mix, what we can get the best out of, all our elements and bringing them all together. For lead vox, try mixing up different performances to different the energy throughout the track. There's nothing worse than a linear vocal. Close miking works best for intimate vocals or double low harmonies. Move your mic back when you're ready to get your impro and outro vox, but watch that compression. In order to make the most of your rig's processor, Send group tracks such as BVs to the bus to compression and reverb, saving yourself five times the processing. Use compression sparingly on your lead vocal, as you don't want to lose your performance. However, a tasteful use of compression on BVs tends to level out your group harmonies, giving you a really nice sound. Join us next time for another Frontline Producer series where we hope to get the best out of a big rig like this or your home studio with a couple of tricks from myself or someone else. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.